Black pudding's very black today, Mother. Yes, it is black today, dear. Aye, that's very black, that is. Yes, dear. Even the white bits are black. Yes, dear. It's a very dark pudding today. Aye, like the weather. Yes, dear. Very overcast. Mm. Mum? Yes, Eric? I don't think I've ever seen black pudding quite as black as that, have you? That's <laughs> enough, dear. Go and get us some coal, will you? All right, oh, Mother. Yes, son. You know, Howard? Howard Molson? Yes, dear. He's got a new shovel. Oh. It's a lovely shovel. It's got a great big brass handle. Oh, good. You know what he's going to do? He's going to put it next to his other one. Yes, dear. Look, give our Irene a call. Will you tell her her tea's ready? All right, old mother. It was always like that at home. There was never time to discuss things. As soon as I raised an interesting topic, my mum would always find something else to do, or she'd be too busy. Sometimes she'd feign death just to avoid talking to me. It was the same with me dad. He pretended to be French when he came in, hoping I wouldn't talk to him. Oh, quel junior, bastelata. Je suis très fatigué, demain, Vera. Oh, yes, dear. ABM, le repas est prêt. What? Your supper's ready. And our Irene, my sister, she was just downright rude. Irene, guess who's got a new shovel then? Oh, shut up, you boring little tit. <laughs> That's enough, dear. Well, he's such a short ass little creep, he's driving me out of my tree. Irene. Meals were always the same. Every time I tried to start a conversation, our dad would feign a bilious attack and have to leave the room. And as soon as they'd finished supper, Mum and Irene would go for a walk round the cemetery and leave me on my own. Until one morning, I come down for my breakfast to find a note on the table. My mum and dad had run away from home. They said they couldn't stand it any longer. 